This past May, the Superior General of the Society of Jesus convoked a general congregation for 2016. He's expected to formally resign then. Adolfo Nicolás spoke about his plans for the first time as he addressed the society spokespeople in Spain. Father Nicolás was elected six years ago. He said that his age played a key role in his decision to step down. Certainly, I cannot lead the society under years of personal decay. After the age of 80, you start the process of decay. I prefer to leave the job when I still retain my senses and not wait until Jesuits start asking themselves, this old man in Rome is still there? This is not very positive. You have to do things with certain clarity, and it's better to start preparing things now. The general congregation will take place in 2016. Until then, Jesuits around the world must analyze the challenges that people face today and how the society can help overcome them. I think that our role today within the church is to foster depth so that we don't do what everyone else is doing, what's newsworthy, what's immediate, but rather we need to look at things in depth and try to respond to what the church needs now. One of the matters that the society will look at is the situation in the Middle East where two members remain missing, Prem Kuman in Afghanistan and Paolo Daloglio in Syria. Father Nicholas said that they are first-class Jesuits, very dedicated and aware of the risks they faced but were unafraid. For example, Father Frank van der Lucht was recently killed in Syria. He was a man that consciously understood he was headed towards martyrdom. When he had the opportunity to leave amid international pressure, he chose to stay. He said that while his people were suffering, he would stay with them, and they killed him for that. Within the society, the resignation of the superior general is not without precedent. Father Nicholas's predecessor, Peter Hans Kollenbach, stepped down in 2008 with a blessing from Benedict XVI.